I think British chef need to learn from him. No fancy studio kitchen. No Christmas like this is how you make perfect egg fried rice. Today guys, we're going to be reviewing Chef Wong making his fried rice with Uncle Roger commentating. This has been a very requested video and finally we are going to do it today. If you are new, welcome to the channel. My name is James. I have been cooking for many, many years all over the world and I have plenty of other recipes on my YouTube channel, not just reaction videos, so hopefully you will like something. If you do like this video, then don't forget to share, like and subscribe and let's get started. Today, we're gonna review Chef Wang, aka Ah, his birthday is one month after my birthday. My birthday is in May. Mm -hmm. Quite close. Wang Gang, home style egg fried rice with spring onion. Chef Wang is famous Chinese chef. His video will be in Mandarin, but Uncle Roger, good uncle, will put subtitle for you. Don't be pussy. Learn to read. Hello, 大家好。我被昨天饭煮多了，放在冰箱里面冻得比较硬。See, this is the great thing about making fried rice is that it's not necessary to just make the rice for it. Yeah, you can use the leftover rice from your previous meal or something and then make the fried rice. Albeit though, if you are going to make like a lot of fried rice, well, then you need to make sure that you have enough. But still, it's one of these great recipes that you use the leftovers. Leftover cold rice for fried rice. Good start. Uncle Roger liked this video already. Chef Wang cooking for his mm. uncle. But you don't even need to tell me this is uncle. Because everything about this guy scream Chinese uncle. Uncle Roger like his fashion. Maybe I should wear wife beater like him. Both of them are wearing orange. Interesting. Okay, if this video get 100,000 likes, Uncle Roger will wear orange sleeveless shirt, hmm. just like Chef Wang uncle. That goes for me too, yeah? If we get maybe not to 100,000, but let's say 30,000, 20,000 likes, then I'll wear the same shirt that his uncle's wearing. So niece and nephew, do it. Hit like now. The other thing with the rice is that if you really overcook the rice, it's not good for fried rice. Yeah, it needs to be a little on the hard side. You don't want clumpy, mushy, like really soft overcooked rice for it. So this is one thing to keep in mind. Egg good. Chili good. If we take a quick look at his cutting board, he's using a massive round or a a tree trunk round, yeah? When you cut a piece of wood or anything like this, this is what he's using. Now in the Western kitchens, we don't tend to use, well, firstly, we don't use a lot of wood in the kitchen because it's not prohibited. Uh, if we do use wood, it's only say for the butcher blocks. This would be more like for the butcher block. In the Western kitchens, we tend to use rectangular cutting boards and they do tend to be quite thin, which I don't like. Here in Spain, we use rectangular cutting boards, but they're extremely thick, they're heavy. The benefit to using a heavy board like he's using also, it's not going to move very easily. And you can also put, say, some damp cloths underneath it, so it helps it not to move. But if it has a little bit of weight to it, it's better. The only thing is you have to be careful when using such a heavy cutting board because if it does fall off the table, which has happened quite a few times in the kitchen, if the point lands on your foot, forget about it, you'll lose it. It's just something to keep in mind. All right, now we can also see that he's using the one hand technique with cracking an egg. This is easy, yeah? I learned to do this when I was a kid. It just takes a little bit of practice. And it's better to crack the egg on a flat surface than on the rim or the edge of a bowl. There's really no need to do that. One, you're gonna get eggshells into the egg, and two, it's a little slower and you may tip the bowl anyway. There is another method on cracking an egg that my French chef taught me. It's by taking two eggs, cracking one against each other, and one will always break. His egg cracking technique so smooth. Tap, crack and throw all in one fluid motion. Chef Wang mm. have more talent in one hand than Jamie Oliver have in his whole body. <laughs> and his uncle just standing there looking. Not I have never seen uh, Jamie Oliver like respond to Uncle Roger, but he picks on him a lot. I think Uncle Roger found a gold mine with Jamie. An absolute gold mine. Impass at all. Typical Asian uncle. He break egg. I how ex-wife Auntie mm. Helen break Uncle Roger heart. Make it look so effortless. 
这个辣椒我们直接切成颗粒就行了。嗯。It's mm. chopping quite smooth. Also, this is another little trick that we use in the kitchen when having to cut vegetables or anything quickly. He's taken a lot of chilies, he's collected them, and he's just slicing them all at once instead of slicing two or three at a time. When you get better with a knife, you can start adding more product to when you're slicing, and say onions, carrots, celery, whatever it may be. You can start adding a little more. In the beginning, I wouldn't suggest it if you're not comfortable with a knife because it's easy to cut yourself. Normally. In the Western kitchen, the only time that we use a knife like this is the cleaver. Now, obviously, he doesn't have this type of knife. He has the Chinese chef's knife, which is much thinner. And if you use it for bone, you can chip like any knife. Now, there are some benefits to using a Chinese knife versus a Western chef's knife. One, you can cut more product and double it as a spatula, which helps a lot whenever you're cooking a lot of products. In the Western kitchens, we do use the uh, chef's knife as a spatula to pick up food. As you can tell with the chef's knife tapering at the end, we don't have a lot of space to pick anything up. With the Chinese knife, you do. The other thing is that you have to hold the chef's knife or the Chinese knife a little differently than, say, how I hold my Wusthof or your Western knives. You don't want to put a finger on top of the knife. Some home cooks do. It's fine if you do, and this is your method. But if you're there for hours on end cutting, your finger, this joint here, is going to get very sore. Yes, so it's always good to have the finger off to the side. And then for the Chinese knives, obviously they're a little bigger, the blades are bigger, so you may have to use two fingers like uh, Chef Wong. I absolutely love using Chinese knives. Mine is back home in the US and I need to get another one. Ah, that another Asian uncle behavior. Asian uncle like me, we are so competitive about spice eating. Always try to be better at eating spice than other people. That's why he said this not spicy. Nothing ever too spicy for Uncle Roger, except Nigella Lawson. Chopping good again. You can tell that his method of cutting is a little different than how you use a Western chef's knife. Yeah, the motion of cutting is just a little different. I like this chef Wang guy. He's saying to his uncle. In hotel, if mm -hmm. I make this, I make this dish pretty. Mm -hmm. But now I cooking at home, I don't give shit. <laughs> you should be grateful for whatever I make you. This chef Wang so sassy, and Uncle Roger just noticed why his uncle look like villain from Kung Fu Hustle. And they do look similar, don't they? This is another technique that's very good to know in the kitchen. Anytime that you have any spring onions or any chives or say even celery or anything long, yeah, any long vegetables or herbs, if you cut them in half and then double them and then slice, it saves a lot of time in the kitchen. The next time that you have something like this, give it a try. Go slowly if you're not comfortable with the knife and uh, see how much time you save. Oh, this chef Wang so nice. He chopping extra spring onion because his uncle like it. Nephew Nigel, huh? see, he treat his uncle so nice. Auntie Helen took Uncle Roger children, and I treat you like my son. Why you don't show any respect, hi ya? Uh, but I film every video for you. You just wee joke guy who say you can mic yourself up. <laughs> Ooh. Uncle Roger excited. Okay, so he has a very top of the line professional walk station. Yes, outside for his uh, for this property as well. Yes, he put a lot of money into this because they gonna cook in outdoor kitchen. Fuyo, <laughs> niece and nephew. Yeah. Uncle Roger explained this before, but in Asia we have two kitchen: indoor kitchen and outdoor kitchen. Indoor kitchen just for show. Useless. We used to chop melon and make cereal. Outdoor kitchen is where the magic happened. Fuyo. Because outdoor kitchen, you can make as big fire as you want. You won't burn your house down. In Asia, you cook in outdoor kitchen. You know good food coming. In UK, you cook in outdoor kitchen. You get arrested for trespassing. I put my wok in my neighbor backyard because he not even using it, and I get arrested. Hiya. And Chef Wang, he got two wok. He a wok fuck boy, mm. just like Uncle Gordon.
This is a very nice professional walk station. I would love to have something like this. As we can tell, he has two walk setups. He has two big walks as well, yeah? The bigger the walk, the more product you can fry because if you're gonna be frying a lot of product in a smaller wok, you're gonna have, well, more depth, no, with the rice and it's not gonna be frying, it's gonna be boiling or steaming and you don't want that. It won't be fried rice, it'll be more like steamed rice. Now, wok stations have water that run continuously. This does a few things. It's not just helps cool the station down because that surface is very hot, but the other thing is that that water continuously cleans the station. So anytime that you have any splatter from oil, rice, anything like this, it'll wash it away and be collected in a little area, as you can tell in front of him. It has a little drain in front of him, um, but this is fantastic. You can also tell that he has a little colander to his left that he can use at any time. Now, the fire that's coming out of that little wok setup that he's cooking with right now is not your typical flame in the house kitchen or even in the professional ring burners. That thing is extremely powerful and it will superheat that wok and everything around it. So the water helps cool everything down. And with this wok setup, we can't see, but he probably has all the mise en place off to the side, all the oil, another dumping station, and then the food. So this walk setup is something that I would absolutely love to have in my house. I would absolutely love having one of these things. Okay, he's seasoning the wok, coating it with oil. Now fresh oil go in. All right, so now you can see that there's a drain. And he also has a little stand here for the wok. Some of the woks have flat bottoms, but not all of them. This one has a round bottom to it. So he can actually take the wok off the heat and let that sit, free up his other hand to add any other ingredients while the wok's off the heat. This is an excellent setup. It go in, good, good. This the only time I see Chef Wang Uncle smiling. Apparently seeing people fry egg bring him so much joy. Fuyo, the egg flipped so smooth. Let watch again. Let watch again. If you see the underside of that egg, it's perfectly fried. This guy make his egg look like it dancing. Oh, another thing, niece and nephew might have noticed. Chef Wang let this water run constantly. Maybe niece and nephew thinking, why he wasting water? His uncle kitchen, no water meter, is it? Is that why his uncle always looks so grumpy? Because his nephew wasting water. If you think that, you are wrong. Because when cooking, you need cold water to cook. This water pot so close to fire. If no fresh water come in, water will start to boil, everything evaporate, and then dry pot start to burn. Then Chef Wang uncle will beat him up with the bamboo stick behind him. That why he let the water run. He don't want to get hit. Green and red chili go in. Good. Mm -hmm. Now the good. rice go in. You see what I mean by having that little stand? It frees up his other hand to add the other ingredients. It helps a lot. Fuyo, good tossing. Ooh. And this to prevent clumping of the rice. Hmm, good technique, mm. good technique. Mm. Fuyo, Uncle Roger can watch his tossing every day. You can tell that somebody has used a wok for a long time compared to somebody that hasn't used a wok that much. I mean, Ramsey, when he was making his rice, he did very good, first of all, yeah, with the rice. But secondly, the way that he was tossing wok, it's a little awkward, but it wasn't the same setup. I have to say this, uh, clay pot is not the same as using a wok station like this. I'm definitely gonna be watching more videos of Chef Wong. He does a very, very good job. This guy know what he doing. I wonder if Chef Wang is single because he seems so confident in his right hand. Sorry, children. I like how his uncle just standing there gawking at the fried rice. <laughs> That's exactly how Uncle Roger flirt with woman. <gasps> is that, <laughs> is that what I think it is? It's Uncle Roger's favorite thing. 
MSG. Is that MSG for you? I think now it's time to use Jamie Oliver's favorite word. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> and soy sauce go in. Okay. Hmm. Fui yo, look at that graceful hmm. splash. Form a circle. If any of you wonder why he's adding the soy sauce around the exterior of the wok, is so it doesn't drop the temperature of the wok. The hottest part of the wok is in the center. So you don't want to be pouring liquid into the center of the wok to drop the temperature because otherwise it's going to steam. It's going to evaporate and then steam the rice. You don't want that. And spring onion mm. as garnish. Everything correct. Mm. And he's also adding the spring onion at the end. Yes, he's not going to be overcooking the spring onions. Oh, is that Uncle Roger's sea chicken yeah. in the back? Crown. I like his uncle house. Got chicken on floor you can use for cooking. And got bamboo stick back there used for beating nephew. Everything you need mm. is on the ground. Oh, looks so nice. Fuyo, look at that technique. This looks absolutely delicious. You can see the green onions are still green, but you can see everything, yes? You can see the egg. Usually, normal chef will just scoop rice up from mm. wok, but this chef Wang, he wok tossed the rice into ladle. Fui yo, mm. this is so graceful. He like dancer, like dancer. All this tossing and he don't drop single grain of rice. Uncle Roger's so impressed. And he mentioned Wok Hei also. <gasps> this guy know everything. He like a god of egg fried rice. The biggest joy in life is seeing first child get born and Chef Wang making egg fried rice. Hmm. So happy. <laughs> I hope they do taste tests. Nice me. Oh, there we go. And you can see that he does have an extra table off to the right for this walk station. It makes life so much easier when you have all the mise en place and everything there off to the side so you can just keep cooking. Mm. Ah, that his Auntie Helen. Moment of truth. If you want to know if his fire rice good, let's just see what his uncle think. Because we all know middle-aged uncle. Don't bullshit you. Truth, yeah. Oh, he's no. smiling! He's <laughs> smiling! That how you know his egg fried rice amazing! Mm. He impressed his grumpy kung fu hustle uncle! Mm. No chili shell. What's of wisdom? What of yeah. wisdom? You don't cook rice just for the fried rice and use it the same day. It needs to be cold, needs to be not mushy, it needs to be a little on the harder side. This egg fried rice, perfect. perfect. 10 out of 10. Uncle Roger approved. He is Uncle Wang Gang now. This guy is king of wok hei and king of mm. wasting his uncle water. Hope I get to eat at your restaurant one day. What I like to mm. is his cooking, so simple. Nothing fancy. I think British chef need to learn from him. No fancy studio kitchen, no Christmas light, just good technique, uh. good basic. It go to show all you need is passion for food and creepy mm. uncle standing next to you. This is how you make perfect egg fried rice. His video will be in Mandarin, but Uncle Roger put subtitle for you. Don't be pussy. Learn to read. <laughs> Nothing ever too spicy for Uncle Roger, except Nigella Lawson. <laughs> so creepy. Well guys, I have to say that Chef Wang Gang did a excellent job. He did a brilliant job with his fried rice. I'm definitely going to be watching other videos of his. Let me know in the comments down below if you how you liked the video, if I missed anything as well. And if you did like the video, then don't forget to share, like, and subscribe as it helps my channel out greatly. 
And as well, guys, if you have any recommendations for any more videos, then let me know in the comments down below. And that's it. If you are interested in another interesting video or recipe, then you should click on this video here. And I will see you guys again very soon. Have a great week and take care.